how's everyone doing today and stuff like that how are you how are you i hope you're having a lovely day today and welcome back to another episode of cult of the lamb so in last episode we defeated spoilers uh we defeated the one who waits basically and um in this episode i am not sure what we're gonna do so what we are gonna do is we're gonna walk around uh we're gonna walk around. We're gonna just see what there is to do. I want to first of all go to every area to see if, if NPCs are gonna say new things. And I guess I I will just take you with that on uh, I'll just take you with that on that adventure basically. Uh, what I also want to make is I found out something that we have which we haven't done anything yet. We have one of these. A massive monster shrine. Pray to, uh, to the mighty monster. I think we get special loot from this. So we're going to add it to the church area because it, you know, it's a, it's a praying thing. So we're going to put it here. And I want to see if uh, we get anything out of it. If we can pray or if our followers go pray or anything like that. Uh, thank you, Mr. Hellkiller, for contributing to the totem. Uh, but yeah, we have some more things to do. And um, let's just get started by leaving this area and see if there is anything outside of this area, right? Just go up. Hello? Oh, we are automatically walking. Cutscene! Oh, it's you! We only saw you like twice, I think, before. I can't read that. Sir? Uh, or ma'am? Or holy spirit? I cannot read that. I seek the newly... Uh, a name is God, successor of their uh, victims, a last of their kind. Confer with me. Fickle beast, do you not feel how, how the boundaries uh, betwixt, betwixt? This world and the next has begun to fray. You are artless in your duties, infant, uh, infant God. You bestow upon the bishop's death, yet deny them rest. Bearer of the Red Crown, set this right. For, uh, forced, forced are they to, uh, to relieve their final uh, agonies. Move them on, as uh, your du uh, duty as a new god of death. Proceed once more, give them peace. The bishops trapped between life and death. Alright, so this is my how we maybe unlock the bishops. Oh, the doors lock again. Oh, can we not rerun the old levels? Uh, sacrifice level 4 followers to open. Oh. Oh, so we're gonna have to sacrifice things. Oh, you... Scary round head. Too scary to eat. My taste, uh, tasty treats will ha uh, have to be twice as much gold. I knew that like the round head. Yes. You like? I find many uh, these tasty. Okay, so we cannot rerun the levels then. Huh. Okay, that kind of sucks. Uh, but that mainly sucks because we haven't completed... Oh, you're scared now? Mm. Bah! The world is... Sh uh, it shakes here. It, it, it is dangerous as anywhere. Make it worth uh, my well for me to stay. My delicious wares are now double the price. Okay, so everybody's doubling their price. Great. Fantastic. Uh, we have one slight problem, because we didn't finish Pilbo yet. And I was kind of planning on doing that today, but for finishing Pilbo, I just needed, like, the last level. So let's just go to Pilbo, I guess, because I've been planning on going around anywhere anyways for a bit to just see what's going on. Uh, Pilbo? Yeah, give Eye of the Witness. We are, we are missing these, is the problem. But now we can't actually... We can't actually finish him until we do the rest. That is a slight issue, I'd say. Personally, I'd say that's probably a slight issue. So we've been everywhere now. There was nothing new besides in the area right above our cult. Um, it's sad that they don't acknowledge that we killed the one who waits, right? Like, they're just kind of fine with it. They're like, yeah, that happened, I guess. <laughs> So, I guess we're gonna do some stuff around the cult. I might want to do some decorations, actually. Pray. 
use that. Quite follow from. And you, all right. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna, like, just collect our cult stuff. I might want to do some decoration here and there, because I just want the cult to look a little nicer, to be completely honest with you. Um, and I guess that will be it. I guess I, <laughs> I don't really have a plan for today. Well, I had a plan for today. I wanted to do Pilbo, uh, but that plan went completely out of the window. So, uh, I guess the other, I, I also wanted to collect silk. Because we're almost out of silk. But that plan went also completely out of the window. So I guess we're just going to have to go into the first level. Uh, I will probably bring some demons and we'll just see what happens. We also have a dead body here. Uh, Anna. Uh, I know that we need to harvest one body for meat. So we can actually uh, get a... What is it called? Uh, one of the things... The, the, the things in the levels that help us, the curses, but not the curses, they go in the bottom. You get what I mean, right? You get what I mean. Alright, I'm gonna do ceremony, I'm gonna set some people up, I'm gonna put some food here and there, and, uh, yeah. Oh, Garfield has another quest, please don't let it be another one where it's like, Great leader, I like you. No, I love you. Would you, uh, would you make me the happiest creature in the world and marry me? Yeah, sure. Let's just go do a wedding real quickly. Come in and teach you have to st have started a fight. Where are they? Where are they fighting? Come on. Come on, guys. No fighting. No fighting. I know that, I know that Kermit might be a little bit of a jerk. But no fighting. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. We don't do that in this cult. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, yeah. We're gonna do a ceremony. We're gonna see how everybody's doing. And, uh, I guess we're gonna go into a level... Oh, yeah, we need to do wedding. We'll do that real quickly. We'll do that on camera, right? The wedding should have... The wedding should be on camera. Because, like, it's cute or something like that. All right, we're gonna also level up, actually. So we're, we were gonna stay on camera anyway. Um... Uh, lost relics will... Wait, there's another... No, no, we've already got that. I thought because it was gray, because we were a little lower, that we hadn't unlocked it yet. But we'll unlock some new relics. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, eye of the uh, ice score. Obtain uh, uh, ice that freeze enemies on contact. Ob uh, orbiting ice that freeze uh, that poison enemy on contact. Uh, or uh, ice that mimics curses. All right. All right. That sounds pretty good, actually. That sounds pretty good, actually. And we got another level up. Divine Inspiration looks All right, we're gonna do a ritual. And we're gonna do this wedding. <laughs> We've got so many cult members now. We've got so many cult members now. All right. Uh, let's see. Wedding, 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 wedding. Where are you? Where are you, Kermit? Not Kermit. It's Garfield, actually. Where are you, Garfield? There we go. Come on. Get married. Here you go. All right. And I have a sneaky th idea, actually. I have a little sneaky idea before we leave. What? Okay, you your quest is done. There we go. Garfield is almost level two, level three. We have a llama that's almost dying. Right, that is like on the dying level. We have a bit of lag. I love that. I love that. Where is this llama? Llama's up here. Paul is up here. So, Paul is almost, and Morgan's, Morgan's is also almost dying. So, can we sacrifice the dying followers? Need to be level four. Let's see. Can we sacrifice those? Oh, they're unavailable. But maybe it's because too low level? And not because they're old? Let's see if we can level up more games, and let's see if we can sacrifice. If we can sacrifice myself, right? Because I, f I genuinely, I feel bad sacrificing the people from Twitch chat, and I feel bad sacrificing uh, other people from the YouTube chat, so I'd rather sacrifice followers that don't really have anything to, like... Th that don't have any attachment to people, right? And I feel like my own follower is one of those. I can't give you a present is the problem. 
That kind of sucks. Why can't we not give old people a present? <laughs> right? <laughs> Do old people not deserve presents anymore? Is this it? Right? Is this it? So we just leveled up and I am looking through the list here. There's actually something new we've got. We've got Empowered Shrine of Disciples. Now we only have one disciple and I'm hoping that we get some more soon. Uh, but apparently they can do something with this and we can apparently get bonuses for uh, levels and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if we need to collection two. There we go. We're almost level up anyway. Let's level up Kermit as well. Uh, let's see, what does it take to build? Ooh, we got a knucklebone arena. The structure, uh, is only- you can only build it once, that makes sense. Uh, Shrine of Disciple, there we go. It is another shrine, so I'm gonna put it in our shrine area over here. Uh, our shrine area is getting a little full. Um, we'll just put it there. <laughs> we'll just put it there for now. We've gotta do some decoration and we've gotta fix up some things, but... Oh, well. And... There we go. Shrine of Disciple. Alright. It doesn't do anything now, it seems like, but I'm gonna hope that it's gonna do something. I'm gonna hope it's gonna do something. Alright, uh, so we're almost done in the uh, in the cult. Uh, I'm actually gonna wait until tomorrow, because I do think we can level up more games to level 4, so we can sacrifice more games at a door, basically. Uh, so we're gonna go fishing, and then once we're done fishing... I will sacrifice more games and we'll go into the first level. Ooh, quest? We are all ex uh, exhausted. Please let us have a, a break. We uh, wish to obser uh, observe the uh, Sabbath. Uh, perform holy day ritual. I mean, I guess you guys can all have a holy day after I level up more games, right? Right? I don't see why not. All right, so they wanted a holy day. Let's go. More games didn't level up during the ceremony, and I don't think they get any XP from this, sadly. So I think more games is just going to die, and uh, that's it. We're not going to hit level four, sadly, to open the door. We should have given a bit more presents and stuff like that, which I'm really bad at. I'm really bad at giving presents. There we go. Everybody's going to have a chill day. We're going to make some food for them. And uh, then we're going to go out. Yes, yes. You have a day of relaxation. You do almost level up. And, uh, oh, we, we should we should take this before we leave. There we go. We got another level up here. We can do a collect, uh, col collect a shrine of disciples. Uh, sure, why not? Why not? We'll make that when we get back. Here we go. Disciples collect devotion something, something, something. I should probably write it. A devotion from other uh, structures uh, within radius uh, and deposited there. Okay. All right. Collecting the last little bit of XP. Oh, we should make some demons as well before we go. Because the levels are probably going to be pretty hard. So we should actually bring some demons. Let's go on an adventure. And let's see what's new in the levels. All right. So we're in the dark woods. Things definitely look a little different currently. Uh, let's get the axe, because we have no other options currently. And um, tears open earth, releasing a horde of ghosts that target nearby enemies. Sure. Uh, we do actually have a cloak on, which I completely forgot about, which halves our HP and uh, makes us use uh, less favor and have more slots or something like that. Something in the lines of that. Uh... Oh, so it's kind of like the tentacles. All right. I'm a little bit scared that we have only half HP and we're going into a level that might be harder than it was before. Uh, but for now, it seems pretty the same. I wonder if we're going to have to unlock the door again to like unlock the boss fight or if we're going to immediately fight the boss. But I guess, I, I guess we'll find out, right? This still seems pretty the same besides the background being so much different and a little bit more spooky. Oh, I hate these. Am I talking about the flies or am I talking about the big thing coming down from the sky? Both, to be honest with you. Uh, anyway, uh, nothing new seems to be currently happening in particularly. So I'll let you know when something new happens, I guess. 
All right, so we've made it to the end of the first level, and the level doesn't look particularly longer. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look particularly longer. It looks quite the same, actually. Um, I would really like to go to the cat shop, but I really don't want to do the do double damage, take double damage, which is the only route from there. So we'll probably go to the cat shop later, because I know that we the the one who waits has two cats next to him, and those are this cat's children, right? So it would be nice if we could actually go talk to the cat and be like, hey, right, we saw your kids. Um, but that's not that's not going to happen right now because I really don't want to do the double damage thing. I do want to go food path, though. Uh, so I think we're going to go relic shop. We're going to go food and then we're just going to go boss fight, which is a little shorter than the entire thing. Uh, but we really need some extra, some extra, mainly uh, chance to heal a heart or chance to uh, gain a spirit heart. That's pretty good. See? All right. I know it breaks, but that's kind of fine. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we, we need some food and we need some um, seeds as well. So it's probably the best to just go past the shop, basically. And it's not like we don't have any money, but I'm pretty sure we can pick something for free. Let's see. Oh, they're still scared. I'm so sorry that we made them permanently scared, but like... I wanted the unlock, right? Like, there is a point of, like, we want the unlock, right? And I'm gonna do this as well, even though it's really sad, but they do drop berries. And they do drop other items as well, which we desperately need now that our cult is way bigger. <laughs> Alright, let's go through the final level and see what kind of boss we get. Or what kind of, like, whatever else we get, basically. Uh, so the statue is still here. That we can steal devotion from. And I'm assuming we can probably still break it. Yeah, but we don't get the teleport anymore. And it actually fixes itself now again. So... We probably get to fight the boss. He does look a little bad, so maybe we get to find an upgraded version of him. But we can only tell when we go through. We get something here. It's... Uh, Midas. And he's not looking too great with his dead bodies. Oh, hello there. Uh, while you client my such, uh, tatty clothing, it's been an age since I, uh, I've left home. But I was compelled. <laughs> what a rich world, sinister and vibrant and rich. And isn't it, uh, isn't charity the greatest ritual, uh, virtue? Uh, you just, just take my money. I was just talking about how we spent some money on buying an extra card for this level. And how I didn't care about buying an extra card, because, like... Wait, there's a question mark level over there. What do we get there? I see it on the map. There's a question mark level there, and there's, like, a weird little symbol. And it looks like there's a path here, but we can't go there. I have no clue. There's a statue here, too. It's the same statue as that statue. Oh! What did we just find? What's this? Uh. Uh. Make offering. Our health isn't that high. I feel like... I feel like this is a bad boss fight level. If I break all of these, are are gonna get upset. Uh, we can make offering. Let's just see what happens. Make offering. Give a heart. Is it permanent? Let's oh, I hope we don't release their permanent heart. What's that? Ancient Tablet 1. Writing from a, uh, a time long past. I meant only to survive, and yet sheath a uh, feathered hand of a uh, great one's gone has seen me to be uh, worthy. Oh, first gods, uh, guide me. I devote myself to you, holy, body and soul. Uh, I will strike down uh, the scent. I will uh, call, uh, call doubt. I will uh, nourish this crown and uh, be w uh, worthy of this power. In blood, I swear. I await uh, one who values truth over el all else. You've unlocked a new knowledge. More games have died. Okay. <laughs> great, great moment, right? <laughs> great, 
Great moment to die. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, poison all enemies. Sure. I would love some more health before we get to the boss fight. I I'm very tempted to start just teleporting home, to be honest with you. I mean, last time we did do Hecate, like, uh, damage taken less. But I have a feeling that he's gonna be harder this time. I have a feeling he's not gonna be as easy. Uh, let's see what this is. Please be health. Uh, fire projectiles, one swinging. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Look at all the cool flowers here, though. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what final card we get. Please be health. Uh, favor punch fully when uh, entering a new combat room increases curse attack. Sure. Sure. Should we buy another card just to see if we can maybe get some health? For 50? Sure, let's just do that. I really don't want to teleport home. I really want to see what's what's behind, right? Enemies drop two times more favor. We can do that. And then just use our use our attacks and hope that we can stay at a distance. Alright, let's see. Oh, it's just you! I think. But it's you but different. I think we can do something like this. Like, I believe in us. Oh god, he spawns a lot of stuff. He does spawn a lot of stuff. But we spawn a lot of stuff too, right? Oh, we get a full soul heart. Thank you, Count. Thank you, Count. Alright, pick up the favor. You know, as long as he keeps spawning stuff, we'll be fine. Oh, I, I got hit by that. I didn't, I didn't expect to get hit by that. Is he dead? He is dead. Pick up god tier. Sure. <laughs> We've got one god tier. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, let's pick up a sin. Because <laughs> we also still haven't upgraded our everything for sin fully. Because I keep I keep dropping it for other stuff. I keep making clothing out of it. Um. And that's one of the door. Okay. So we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do four of these levels again. Are we gonna get four god tiers? I don't know what they're for. <laughs> <gasps> ah. <laughs> Alright, so anyone's gonna say anything about this god tier? Yeah, you are. I sense your success. I feel uh, the presence of a god tier. Thre strength, uh, longevity, and mourning that stretches etern eternally. Found in the uh, belies of the fo foulest of beasts and villains, but uh, seen only by uh, those ascended to godhood. I'm glad you have under uh, I have I'm glad to have underestimated you for I deal with on uh, only with gods an offer newly ascended give uh give unto me a name <laughs> jeez this text is hard <laughs> and we shall be fellows in uh enterprise I have a precious uh, uh articles f uh, for such a uh, being such as yourself grant the being a name I'm call call him Kevin. <laughs> ah, thus our contact is, is struck. <laughs> I shouldn't have called him Kevin. <laughs> He's Kevin now. <laughs> Bring me the gold tier and I shall reward you the truth. I here have a gold tier. Is he gonna be like my name is not Kevin? <laughs> Ooh, what's this? What's this? That looks like lore. That looks like... What's that? Give it. Acquired Dark Necklace. Uh, nature's Law of the uh, Integration of uh, Spring and Sixth has no effect, uh, though knowledge is uh, often gained through sacrifice. Okay, so if we put this on someone, then sacrifice them, right? I wonder if we can sacrifice them at the door. So if we, if we put this on someone, sacrifice them at the door, right? Maybe we can do that. Can we also turn the levels back? No, we can't turn the levels back to you. Can we turn the levels back? Maybe here? Uh, no. Because it kind of really bothers me. Because you can see the eyes of the witness here at the at the doors, right? Uh, we just haven't done this one yet. This is the only door that doesn't have an eye of the witness. And I really wanted to complete Pilbo's quest. I really hope I didn't screw myself permanently. Oh well, um, I guess that we're gonna level up real quickly. Here, 
we go. Uh, let's see what we get. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> Panic. Uh, we're gonna upgrade the missionary, because the missionary can actually give us seeds. And I have, I have understood that if we... Like, I really don't want followers to die at the missionary, but I have understood the higher level they are, the more chance of succeeding they have. We currently have Gozen going on a mission, and there's a like 94% chance, percent chance he's gonna survive. He will actually come back really soon. Uh, so let's wait for Gozen to come back, see if he survives, and uh, we're gonna end that episode of Cult of the Lamb right there then, because I feel like today's episode might have been pretty long. Because the intro was pretty long. Alright, so Goten has returned. Let's see what he has to say. I've returned from my successful missionary. Uh, that's great. That's great. Get, bring me some food. And then you go to bed. We can inspire you for a bit. Thank you for thank you for doing the missionary. And we can do some interaction. Uh, he already has a gift. Okay. Then you just go to bed. <laughs> Alright, anyway... Uh, let's fuel up the fire. And we're gonna end this episode of Cult of the Lamb here. I'm waving and you can't see it. Good night, sleep tight. Have a lovely day. Good night. Thank you for watching this episode of Cult of the Lamb. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like. Please leave a comment to support it in the algorithm. And, um... Bye!